issues and you, you know, you're in therapy or maybe you're just, you're just, you've got anxiety or you're, you know, you're dealing with some levels of depression or whatever. Right. And you go to these mental health experts and often, very often what's recommended the diagnosis is to start setting your expectations lower. And they do these through series of exercises. Like, oh, well, you shouldn't expect that person that you love to be like that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have expectations that your life should be different. And, and yes, it works. If you can get someone to lower their expectations, they're obviously gonna be a lot less disappointed around it. But that's not what defines the rich and the poor. Like that's, it has nothing to do with that. There's something wrong with our thinking as average, poor minded individuals. There's something wrong with our thinking that like we can, again, cheat or rob ourselves the actual experience of life. And we do it by, by lowering our expectations, which you think that's actually gonna fix? Like, you think that's actually gonna work or do you think that's just a Band-Aid? Like, do you actually believe that lowering your expectation in life is going to actually have you feel more fulfilled? That, like, you, you would end your life, like, and you're, there you are on your deathbed and you're like, wow, I'm just so grateful for how life went for me. Or would there be regret? And how much does that weigh? 